Hi friends, this is an e-commerce website using e-commerce and this website is getting orders as well. By default, this is the order screen where we can see all the orders that we have received at our e-commerce store. I can see two test orders are here and there are two status that we can see like on hold or processing. By default, WooCommerce offers certain order status like I can show you the processing, pending payment, on hold, completed, cancelled, refunded, failed or dropped. So these are default order status that is available at our WooCommerce store. Let us assume we want to add more status or edit the existing status and even edit the email formats, triggered, auto-triggered emails uh, using for these order status. What we can do? We cannot do nothing. In fact, so if we are not using additional feature or we are not going at code level, we cannot change these order status and even we cannot change the and default triggered emails. So in this video, I am going to show you how you can add new order status or edit existing one so that you may make your e-commerce website that is e-commerce website according to you. I mean, you can enhance this e-commerce feature and change the order status that you actually want to show your customers or even uh, at your store manager. So as I said, you need a plugin, additional plugin, and I'm going to show you the very suitable plugin that is called WooCommerce Order Status Manager. It is uh, available at WooCommerce.com itself through the link given in the video description. And you will be able to completely change or uh, manage your order status according to your need using this plugin. So uh, as I said, you can buy the plugin at WooCommerce.com itself and I am adding all the links and using custom order statuses you will be able to that is going to use in your order list and can even be integrated into order actions and bulk action for a completely seamless fulfillment order flow. The e-commerce order status manager allows you to create, edit and delete custom order status and integrate them seamlessly into your e-commerce order management flow. So these are some examples you can see in the images. So some order status has been changed. And with this plugin, it is going to be super easy for you. So without any further delay, let us install this plugin and to change this custom order status. I'm in the default order status and I am simply going to install the plugin first. So let us move forward. To install the plugin, I will simply open the plugin tab and plugin in new tab. And okay, so uh, plugins, where is plugins, 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 plugins in new tab. And we'll add the plugin that I got from WooCommerce com itself uh, you can also avail the same of course and uh, adding new plugin choose file uh, okay so I can see it. this is here and simply select this okay so we can select this e-commerce order status manager and click on install now it is very common process to install a plugin as we do for other plugins and simply activate the plugin and once you activate you'll get this option I'll show you this is the uh, e-commerce order status manager it has been developed by the Skyverge I must tell you the original developer of this plugin are Skyverge and it has got a good review and the plugin is being regularly updated. The latest version is shown here. So you can check all these things before buying the plugin. And here is the plugin and we can simply go in configure status. So like we have this order status, 
and these are core status like uh, pending payment and processing on board completed cancelled so these are core uh, status of order and what we can do like on hold we can simply edit this and we can so just keep in mind we are editing on hold so we can change it a same link okay so according to your need i'm not saying what you have to change and you can simply change the slug as well okay so slug is not being changed in description we can change on a hold to assembling just for our reference we can change the color just for example i'm changing this to blue and select icon just in case if you want to add an icon as well so you have multiple icon sets like we are assembling it so we can keep this and we can even upload our icon and action icon is again so by default icon is here action icon can be different and we can choose among 58 icons that is available here so you can change the icons here and the action icon that we can select that is uh, okay so we can keep this just for example next status uh, statuses so choose a statuses that follow this one in your workflow so like after assembling what will be happen so now after this is assembling we can processing so just in case you can add your order status I'm just showing you for example bulk action check this to add this order status to the order list table bulk action list okay so we can add this directly check this to include order with this this order status in order reports that is also fine order so what is the payment status order is neither paid nor require payment okay so we can say it order uh, has been paid and uh, and then we are assembling so we can change all these things so save order status now we can check the order the status now uh, on this screen like order status I'm refreshing this page on hold was changed okay so I can see on hold is now assembly there is no on hold now so simply we can change the uh, order status here and um, in a new order or uh, as we have selected bulk update so it had been already bulk updated at the order list as well and, and now I'll show you uh, how we can add new order status right so add order status is another option so simply we can go for new order status uh, finalizing can be the new status uh, finalizing and the slug here we can keep our own slug since uh, the core slugs cannot be changed we can, can add a new slugs according to our need in the new order status that we are adding so final uh, finalizing descripting order is about to complete okay so just for example select color so it can be green like things so it is going to complete because okay that is fine and it is done so we can select randomly whatever mm, x and icon select icon can be different so this is and uh, the final status is processing assembly uh, completed so the next status can be completed uh, since we are finalizing the, so next status can be completed it is uh, uh, it should be logical because uh, if you are putting any order status it should be met with the next status okay so order with this have been paid okay that is fine so we can add a new status 
So now we can further rephrase this page for checking the order status. Processing was there and now we are here at finalizing a status. So simply you can add a new order status and further you can also check the order list so that can be so i'm updating first this order is already done so i am updating this order finalizing and i'll show you how it looks on the screen so you can see here is the status and order status change from processing to finalizing plus one order note is here so you can simply check all these things and you can add these features to make your WooCommerce store more comfortable for you and more logical for your customers as well. And similarly, you can change the emails. I mean, add new emails according to your order status. So order status email is, and so here is the uh, link. Order status email, add order status email. So you can change the email according to your need. So whatever the order status you have been added at your WooCommerce store, you can add new order, uh, I mean, email type like email description. This order is finalized. And when to this page, add a condition. So it is totally variable whatever you want so you can add so you can went to dispatch pending payment finalizing so uh, completed whatever so just for example i'm showing you and you can save email status and when the email is being sent or whom in email is being sent to customer and you can further select whom is to be sent and you can customize the email accordingly so you can write the email status, what you want to write, like what will be the email subject line and the um, by default order status sort code is here. So it will pick the order status automatically and you don't need to check and change the sort code. However, you can change these decks. So you can uh, add new subject and like, uh, and this is, oh, oh, we can create order is finalized and email heading your order is ri wing email body it is automatic html and we can simply save the change so it has been saved and for the we have emails like uh, this is the new email that we add I got in addition to default emails we have added new email status and further we can change anytime as we need so it is a very compatible plugin to manage the order status and I believe it is really going to be helpful for you if you really want to make your e-commerce store according to your need so in the next video I'm coming with a uh, new additional feature for e-commerce as well so I believe uh, you are already a subscriber to the, this channel you have already joined the i create program and watching the videos regularly i am also coming with the how to create e-commerce website or how to create a website using wordpress uh, in a video series so you can join the series as well and let us meet in the next video so that we may enhance the feature of e-commerce and even we can create wonderful websites. Thanks for watching.